Hi everyone, Scott with Professional Golf Instruction here today to talk to you about two of the most exciting putters to come out in a very long time. I got the Lab DF3 with a TPT shaft. I also have the new PXG Allen that just came out with the hybrid steel graphite shaft. Both of these are top of the line within their um, options. So all the upgrades you can get are in it. If you're sitting there thinking, boy, which one should I buy? I hear a lot of people talking about it. I'm just gonna run you through it, give you a little better idea of the differences between the two, and then hopefully that'll help you make a good decision when you go to purchase one, because let's be honest, both of these are pretty dang expensive. I'll start out first with the DF3. It's been around for a while now. It's got a lot of recognition from both tour players, amateurs, and the like. And with good reason, the lie angle balance technology promotes the square impact position without needing to manipulate the club through the swing. So whether you have an inside to out, outside to in, or square to square stroke, the way the putter is designed and set up and balanced, it promotes a square or impact position than your conventional Scotty Camerons, your AI technology, your bent Nardis, center shaft, arm lock, I don't care what it is, these out of the box are supposed to be better. Now, I have not spent hardly any time putting with either one of these new putters. So this is a non-biased video to explain how a good putter, when I pick these up, how much better it makes me at putting. I can tell you with the selection of putters that I own, and it's unfortunately a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. I stick to a gamer that's made locally at Illinois. It's a sub 70 center shafted hybrid steel graphite shaft. It's not an expensive putter, but man, can I roll the rock with this sucker. When I set up and hit a putt, typically I'm somewhere around 0.3 degrees open or closed at impact consistently. So I have my simulator set up. I hit a few putts, 0.4 degrees, not far off my norm. I spend a lot of time practicing with this putter, 0.5 degrees. And the last one, oops, that one moved before I hit it. Let me do one more. This is just to get a baseline. Okay, 0 0.1 degrees. So I had 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 degrees off center. That one was 0 0.8. All right, so let's go to the lab. The lab obviously should be out of the box better. You can go online, you can do a fitting yourself at home with a cell phone video up against the door jam to get angles. You email it in, they'll come back to you and they'll say, hey, you need a 69 degree, 71 degree shaft angle and a 35 inch length, whatever the case. You can custom fit it for free online. They email you back in a day or two and then you can even go on to the lab site and order or get lucky and go to the outlet and pick up one that's slightly blemished. You can hardly tell in most cases, save you a couple hundred bucks. But this one out of the box, like I said, I haven't spent a lot of time putting or practicing with it. Let's just see how much different the impact is. That one didn't register. Let's do another one. Point seven. Point two. A little open. On the forums, when they talk about the Balls being missed to the right. I see a lot of people saying, I bought one, I used it for a little while, I missed all my putts right, I didn't like it, I got it for sale. So there's an opportunity for somebody to pick some up for sale online. If they had only known 
the difference in the design of the shaft and the way that it sets into the head on a conventional putter you have a, a plumber's neck or a goose neck or some sort of uh, offset from shaft to face with these the shaft is set well behind the face of the club so the one thing you should think about is take this center port where the shaft meets the head of the club line it up in the center of your body and then your ball position will be slightly forward if you keep that shaft right in the center as the club comes to the bottom of the swing arc it'll hit it in the perfect spot giving it the most opportunity to be square 0.3 degrees i'll hit one more Point nine, So not a big difference from my current gamer to the lab, just in those short couple of putts. Let's go to the PXG Allen. PXG Allen, little different setup. When you look down on top of this, you can see the sight line all the way across the front. The shaft doesn't impede at all with the lines on top when you're looking at the ball. So if you like to putt with a triple track ball, put a line on your ball, use the label, this sets up really nice, and you see a clear, continuous line from both through the putter and through the ball. So I do like that. Also, it sets up kind of like a Scotty Cameron. When you look at the design, it's very similar. So it's not rounded up. You don't have to use any imagination. It really squares up nice. You feel as if you're pointed in the right direction straight away. So let's see how it works out. Point two has a small opening in the bottom to where you can pick the ball up with it. Same with the DF3. The DF3 has that circle in it. You just tap it down and it'll pick the ball up. Again, shaft should be centered with the body at the bottom of the swing arc. Point six. This putter does have an insert in the face. Don't worry about the white stickers on either one. That's for the simulator to pick up the face so it can measure it. But there is an insert in here. I have heard that that creates a big difference for players who are very feel conscious. For me, I mean, they both feel good. Let's, let's be honest. You're only gonna know the difference if you set them side by side. They're 0.0. .0. Zero point zero, I hit it a little hard so it didn't go in. One point one. I think I got a little quick in the transition. Here I'll focus and I'll really make this one. Point three. Oh, a little hard. This one tends to be a little faster, I would say, in the ball coming off the face. So if you're one that struggles with leaving your putt short, the TPT shaft is light, that head is a little heavy to compensate, the grip is a plus three, so it's heavier to compensate. If you buy one off the rack with the steel shaft out of Golf Galaxy, that'll be a naturally heavier putter. It should be easier to get that ball to go the distance you want. You can always check out my book on Amazon the tour putting system. It's an e-book. It's less than 10 bucks. It's under 50 pages. You could read it in about a half an hour. And all it talks about is how to hit the ball whatever distance you want. All right, last putt. Point three, overall, I was able to get a 0, 0.0 with this. My best putt with the lab was 0.3 squared impact. It's gonna come down mainly to personal preference in how it sets up. So you have some color options with this. If you like to get a, a painted head, there's different sight line options available you can change on the website. Uh, the shafts, there's a lot of customization you can do with one of these, these putters. 
what I find is that you almost have to use one for a little while to figure out what those options do for you. So if there's a way you could go to maybe a Golf Galaxy that has two or three or four of them and you can putt side by side, you might be able to narrow that down. But listen, if, you've, if you're new to lie angle balancing or zero torque putting and you haven't explored any of these options, you can't go wrong. I would take either one of these two and before I took any of those all day long, without a doubt. And like I said, I've only putted with them for less than a week. Um, and I haven't even had them outside. So just picking them up, just taking the feel of the club, the look of the club, the science behind it, setting up on my simulator and seeing that there's no negative. There's no putts that I hit with these that I thought, oh my gosh, where did that come from? Yet, if I don't hit a traditional putter perfectly in the center of the face, I'm off maybe up to two degrees. Those, you don't have that. I mean, it's, it's plug and play. So in conclusion, PXG runs about 500 bucks. Labs, you can get them 500 bucks and up, about the same price point to start. Pick them both up, feel them. They're about the same weight, about the same look. Results are about the same. It's all going to come down to the way your eye lines up to the target over the ball. Do you like to see the sight lines, or would you prefer more of a non-conventional let's focus on the line itself on the grass and the hole and the intended direction that you want to hit it out in front of the ball a lot of people like to focus on behind the ball and the club itself i mean i bet if i hit this one-handed i could get it pretty dang close either one That was 0.8 degrees. That's in. One handed. I mean, it's like cheating. One handed. 0.5 degrees. I didn't even try to hit the path right. Perfect. What is there else to say? Check them out. If you have any questions, hit me up on my website, tourputtingcoach.com or squaredimpact.com. I'll be happy to answer anything I can for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I appreciate you clicking on the video and hanging in there for the whole thing. Click like if you want to see more or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Have a great day.